Do you think when climate change takes toll, there will be a massive exodus of people from the Caribbean to the Americas? Okay, I actually wanted to mention this because this has been my doomsday prophecy for a little while, but it looks like things are outpacing my expectations. Just a moment. This might potentially be a good thing. I'll explain why. Here, this probably isn't a perfect or updated map, but this is um, areas of extreme risk uh, with climate change, due in part to weather and in part to rising sea levels. So you see here, Bangladesh, uh, you know, I think this area will be like famines and stuff. The blue areas here are where people will have to flee from if they don't want to die. That's the gist of it. You see a good chunk of Mexico here, Central America, a lot of it, um, and then big swaths of Western Latin America. So historically, everywhere, but also here in the U.S. as well, the fear of a flood of immigrants has often been used to justify martial law and like a far right bent. Remember back during the 2018 midterms, Donald Trump lied about there being a caravan of Latin Americans coming up to invade America. He sent the National Guard down to protect the border and then nothing happened because it was totally made up. It was a fear mongering tactic to get more votes during the midterm. Just complete, absolute dishonesty. Nothing happened. I remember. Yeah. My thought has always been that when global fascism arrives, when the great happening arrives, it'll be because of this. In, um, in 20 to 30 to 40 years, I don't know when exactly, of course, it'll be a gradual process, you're going to have hundreds of millions of climate refugees fleeing famine and drought uh, in Central Africa. Hell, in parts of America, too. Don't get me wrong. Latin America and Southeast Asia especially is going to be gigafucked by, like, tsunamis and shit or whatever. But you have to understand... Everything that happens down at the southern border between Mexico and the United States is nothing compared to what's going to happen in some of these places. How do you think China is going to react to literal hundreds of millions of climate refugees trying to move north into their less inhabited provinces? They're going to be gunning them down at the border. Not an exaggeration. These will be the largest mass graves in human history. My main concern has been that the severe political circumstances will force fascism out of almost every country on Earth, or at least prompt it, force uh, conflict with it. But America is leaning towards fascism sooner than that. We aren't even facing the consequences of climate refugees that much yet, which makes me wonder if this is something we can't get out of our system early. Fascist governments never stand for that long, you know. Even if we lose now, is it possible that the fascists fall apart soon enough that we could respond more responsibly to the climate refugee crisis? I'm not sure. Is that a positive? This is a very bleak positive. We're, we're, we're beating the curve. We're, listen, lads, we're flattening the curve, okay? We're just trying to keep fascism from reaching critical mass. If we get it out of the way early, we don't have to do it later. It's like getting chicken pox when you're six, you know? You want to get it done now so you don't get uh, the worst version when you're an adult. This is a weird kind of optimism, isn't it? Well, it's kind of what I believe. I guess we'll see. So you're accelerationist now, Vosh? Well, it's more like America is on an accelerationist path, whether I want it to be or not, and I might as well make the best of it, right? Like, it's, it's more like I can't stop this from happening, so let's try to be... Let's try to think about how this could potentially, you know, work to our benefit. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Optimistic doomerism. We can only hope. Couldn't it just prolong the fascist movement? I don't know if fascist movements can really last that long. Yeah, I don't know. What's the longest, especially with the Republican Party? The Republican Party is, it's not like they're the CCP, you know? Yeah, no, Franco lasted a while. I feel like the Republicans might be a little bit too frothing at the mouthy for things to last that long with them. I don't really know. Alien Order, you've been doomer posting for a while. You should probably stop. Here, let me look at your... Let's, let's just, let's show you off to 10,000 people here. Let's see. You are petrified. This is your entire... Listen, a lean order, or a line order, I don't know. There's no need for you to be afraid. You know why? Because we're all going to heaven. Everyone here in this chat, we're all going to heaven because we're good people. We're going straight to heaven when we die. All right? These people, these fascists, straight to hell. Gonna burn in the lake of fire. Yes, they are. Right the hell they're going, straight down there. No stops on that way. Nope. Nothing to worry about, okay? Your eternal reward. In all seriousness, I don't have answers to big questions like that. Nobody does.